Parliament has expressed outrage over the delay by the executive to table crucial constitution implementation bills in Parliament. Launching the onslaught was Vice Chair of the Constitution Implementation Oversight Committee, Milio Diambo, who hit out at the executive citing legislators will not heed to sit in for long hours to beat crucial constitutional timelines at the expense of the executive, which she says is failing to do its job. We want to tell the executive we are taking over this process because we do not want to be blamed for your own laxity and your own inefficiency. There's no reason why government cannot use the time it has. So the business of extra days or sitting extra sitting hours, the government should forget. Being reduced, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I have even said, even the content is being threatened with a reduction. Deputy Leader of Government Business, Amos Kimunya's attempts to defend the government were met with outrage as a charge parliament hit out at the government with a section of legislators reading mischief over the delay with the deadline just two weeks away. The reason why they are withholding these bills is to shorten the time so that Kenyans do not get an opportunity to see the content and therefore get away with bills that do not meet the expectations of the Kenyan people. Nobody is sabotaging the process. Let us be guided by the need to get the bills right and not the politics that we can get here on the floor of this house. It makes for good politics, but it's not good for this house. It was, however, the Minister for Justice, Mutula Kilonzo, who let the cut out of the bag, citing cabinet had done its job and approved 10 bills last week. He instead shifted blame on the two bodies tasked with post-cabinet consultations for the delay in publication of the bills. The problem would be in the office of the Attorney General, the CIC, because they are required on their request uh, to have post-cabinet consultations. I've uh, sent the amendments. I sent them within half an hour of cabinet approval. Mr. Speaker, it's fair that you know and the House knows. Attempts by Meti Central Legislator Gitobu Imanyara to move an adjournment motion to suspend House business and ventilate on the matter were however thwarted with Deputy Speaker Farah Maalim saying he should have given a two hours notice as provided for in the standing orders. Kathina Chenga for the news at 9.30.